Greetings, everyone. This is Fortimus Prime. I am lost on my script. I have a script right here, but I don't even know how to start. First of all, it's me, Fortimus Prime, and I'm here with a channel update. Yeah, it's been a while since I've done one of these channel updates because, well, a lot has been going on behind the scenes and I haven't shared it with all of you, but here it is, the, here's the video that you've been waiting for. And first of all, I want to give thanks to God for all that he has allowed me to do and the over 1000 subscribers. That is, uh, that was a big deal for me. I was in the middle of university and I was not able to make a dedicated video for that. So here's the unofficial thank you for 1000 subscribers and now 1700 it's uh, it's really crazy now thank you for always showing up and supporting my work here so i was planning on launching this video on saturday but a lot of stuff happened so it is here today but anyways um recently i got a question in one of my videos and that encouraged me to make this video that i have been planning for a while and uh, basically I'm taking a break from doing stop motions. Now don't get scared, don't panic. You will still see many stop motion animations for the coming months and even years as I have many, 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 many animations in, <laughs> animations in the backlog. I haven't published either because I completely forgot about them. I was busy, I never edited them fully or it was in that weird transition when I lost all the videos on the channel. The guys that were here a long time ago know what I'm talking about. I lost my videos in the channel transition and you know, there were plenty of stop motion that were never published because of that. So don't be scared. Uh, there are plenty coming in a way. As a matter of fact, for those of you who are here, I'm going to give you a special sneak peek at the next stop motion film that will be published in July. And that is Volleyball Rocks, where Steve, Joe and Claw return for a comical short film. And trust me, that name will make sense once you see what it's about. Um, but the thing is, I'm not sure how to say this, but I've grown tired of stop motion, not as an art form, but rather the long grind that is doing it. You know, I've been doing stop motions for as long as I can remember in my life. I'm in my young 20s and ever since I was like nine and knew what a camera was, I've been doing stop motions since that time. And I got public on YouTube on the year 2020 when I got a Canon camera and some proper lighting in which it started all with Megatron Awakes. Those of you who have been since the beginning will remember that that was the very first stop motion film that I launched here and that was the rest is history. And I am so proud of that one and so thankful for everyone that watched it. And a couple weeks ago, I finished animating my latest stop motion of a Lego spaceship flight. So, you know, I've been doing that for uh, now four years on YouTube. Uh, it's crazy. Uh, however, I've been feeling really tired of it and it feels more like a job rather than that joy I used to know of animating stop motion. You know, having the constant battle with gravity and then having the scenes to be just perfect because if you make a mistake, you have to reanimate the whole thing or work around it. You know, it's it's a mess. And the worst case is I have to do the whole sequence again. And that is so many hours have been wasted <laughs> reanimating a scene. And when I had to relive all of that on that stop motion that I was doing for a Lego spaceship flight, that's the moment when I made a choice in which I'm going to take a step back from stop motion animation and explore a new animation technique. It's not the end for me. I still have my studio, but I'm taking a break from stop motion because over the last four years, I've been constantly battling with gravity and pushing the envelope on what's possible with stop motion on a tight budget and as a single man crew because everything you see here is ran by a single person, which is me. And on top of that, I have to deal with the university. So, you know, it's, it really is a lot of work and it's been very demotivating at times. I have explored on my four years of stop motion animation here on YouTube, I've explored green screens and blue screens, ambitious stories, various frame rates from six frames per second all the way to 30 frames per second. I've explored different animation styles, including the 12 principles of animation, all story genres from thrillers to action to comedy, different figures, scenes, heights, technology, lighting. I mean, what have I not done in this stop motion journey? I even went ahead and filmed on location once to push the envelope on what was possible with stop motion. I've also learned the long run that it is to make a film and it really made me appreciate movies more because of all the work that goes into them. 
I learned how to edit films, I learned how to time them, share them, make trailers. <laughs> I've done a lot, okay? <laughs> I have done so much in the last four years. And on top of that, all the other films that I've done as a child, which you have never gotten to see, which I've been wanting to launch them, but I never got around it. But overall, on my last few animations, I've been feeling very dissatisfied. The fact that I have to continue fighting with gravity, which is the thing that infuriated me the most the last time I was doing an animation. And then I have to go through the editing session to erase those sticks from the flying objects for every single frame for over 24 frames a second at times. It's a lot of work and it's all done manually on Final Cut Pro. And to top it all off, since I don't make my own props, I have to rely on copyright, copyrighted and intellectual property from other brands, and thus limiting my potential earnings. And I have been feeling very tired of stop motion in general, so much so that I've been avoiding it entirely. I have pushed myself and pushed the limit on what is possible with stop motion, and I couldn't be any prouder. I feel that I've reached the ceiling of the world of stop motion animation and I thank God because he has given me the resources, ingenuity and the creativity to do it. And he has given me all of you to support me through these four years and I am so thankful for each and every one of you. But this is not me closing fully on stop motion, rather me taking a step back, you know, taking a break and exploring these new technologies and hopefully return with a refreshed feeling for, an, for the animation form. So why am I making this transition? Well. It's, it's simply because the stories I want to tell require a bigger world, they require original characters, and I have written so, written down so many concept ideas for either short films or feature lens, and I haven't been able to develop them simply because of the fact that I can't do it in stop motion. That doesn't mean you can't do any world in stop motion, because leave it to Artman to really push the boundaries on what is possible with stop motion, but they also have a bigger team and a bigger budget. and. For the world that I want to make, it's not possible for me in a small budget and as a single man crew. It's, and I don't have the space and I don't have the monetary resources to, you know, make new worlds every time I want to make a new film. So the limited ability for me to create my own characters in stop motion is very limiting. The difficulty of making expressions, the difficulty with world building and setting and it's just not possible with my budget of animation, uh, of stop motion animation. And I have considered claymation, but it's too messy for me and I don't have the space to be able to do that. So I've reached the ceiling of what's possible for stop motion for me. And I want to continue improving and tell more inspiring stories and I want to feel that rush of creativity again of making something new. However, I think it's time to move on to the next stage with computer graphics and I'm using Blender because it's free and there are plenty of resources online. I have done so much with Blender uh, so far. I have been practicing modeling on the side and my very first one was back in November 2021 when I did some pencils. I also did a Rubik's Cube, a bouncing ball animation. I also downloaded some models off the internet and never figured out how to use them. That was back in 2021. But since I had bigger fish to fry with university and some intensive internships that I was taking, I left it on the side and never touched it again. Until summer 2023, when I did the infamous Blender Donut. Yeah, I did that one. Uh, I also did some very rudimentary Oreos. Uh, and that was quite unsatisfying and I tried to make them fall and my little computer just couldn't handle it. And the soda can, which I loved. That one was pretty satisfying to see the final result and that metallic shine. You can actually see that model when Optimus Prime tries a soda. I should have done a Pepsi, a Pepsi can. I didn't even realize it until it was too late. But that motivated me to make a trash can out of all things, just so I could learn how to handle some bones. And then I did some very basic rigs, never got to animate them, and eventually decided to make Optimus Prime. At first it didn't work out, but then I read some awesome books on computer 3D graphics. It's fundamentals and starting on 2024, I modeled something from my childhood, which seemed like a solid start with my Blender journey because 
It was very polygonal and it had a very nice blend of uh, simple primitives and kind of complex primitives. And that was Thomas the Tank Engine. I never modeled the face, that should come later. <laughs> but it was a very solid start to my Blender journey. And that with those newly acquired skills, I was able to model the Optimus Prime you've seen in the shorts. And it took a while later to get the rigs to work, but I, when I really got serious, I did the Optimus Prime model and I added some basic bones. And then I also did an X-Wing, and I also did a bunch of other projects that you can see right here. And now in the summer that I've taken a much needed break from my university and I took some courses on Skillshare, this is not sponsored, but Derek Elliott has a fantastic course on Blender and it just really pushed me far more than the donut could have ever done. And now I'm modeling and animating with some homemade rigs with inverse kinematics, some original scenery, simulations, and new models. And that is why you have seen all this Blender mania lately. It got me excited once again for animation as a whole, and I wanted to share it with you all. And that's the reason you have seen this flow of so many Blender animations really got me excited and as a matter of fact CG is what got me into into movies the movie cars is what got me to fall in love with film in general and it's always been a dream of mine to learn computer graphics and now I'm finally thanks to God accomplishing that dream it's a really exciting time for me and I hope you can all enjoy the many simulations and animations that I'm doing it's not the end of stop motion, especially for all of you, my viewers and audience. For the following weeks, I'll do my best to give you a good blend of stop motion animation and blender animation. And I hope you can look forward to that new stop motion that is coming soon, Volleyball Rocks. So yeah, thank you all so much for watching and, and hearing this thing all the way to the end. It really means the world to me and it really helps out a lot. So uh, I hope you look forward to those new animations that I'm going to be doing. Thank you all so much for sticking around. You have a great day. God bless you. This has been Fortimus Prime.